reporter Carl Reiner here at LaGuardia Airport, awaiting the arrival of a plane load of eminent visitors, among them the distinguished Viennese authority on the manly art of self-defense. His new book on self-defense has just been published. It's entitled, You Too Can Be a Winner, or Pick on Someone Smaller. Here he is now, Professor Ludwig von Stranglehold. <laughs> Good evening, Professor. Good evening. <laughs> professor, I enjoyed your book tremendously. There was one... <laughs> there was one chapter that... It's getting in shape. Yes, I see. There was one chapter... <laughs> professor, there was one chapter that particularly interested me, but I didn't quite finish it. Would you describe to us what you meant by coordination as a means of self-defense? Oh, that's the main basis of, of, of the mainly art of self-defense. All the coordination, you tell the, the mind, tells the hand to go up and they're over here, and it's how fast to go there, and that's all practice. I see. It's all practice, the coordination from the mind to, dele to telegraphing to the hand. When this is all has to be, and it's, uh, it will come in handy sometime and save your life. Actually save your life, you feel. <coughs> oh, definitely. I'm telling you, it's all coordination, but, uh, you know, something like that, you want to do it, you do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, like, take, for instance, if, uh, to show you how it would save my life, suppose I'm walking down the street and you're a fellow with a gun. Oh. And you stick the gun on my back. All right, we try it. Now you say, stick him up. Stick him up. Now, the minute I hear that, the split second, it's all in the timing and the coordination to save my life. Now watch. All of a sudden, my left hand goes up here, my right hand goes here, I twirl around, down on the knee, and I plead, please don't kill me. Very loud, you understand? It's all in the coordination, you understand? Well, you get the twirl, you know what I mean? Well, because you could split a back turning around, you know? When you hurt yourself and watch yourself, when you, don't, don't say please when you clap your hand, you know, because if you don't hear the please, you're dead, you I know see. what I mean? <laughs> oh, yes. uh, Professor, you have, you have witnessed many interesting matches in self-defense <coughs> throughout the world. What was the most exciting bout that you ever saw? The most exciting bout? Ach, I'll never forget it. It was in Mexico. Mexico? Ah, there was a matador. He was standing in the center of the ring. And then out from the other side came a bull. A bull? Oh, this bull was a, he was a double bull. What a bull! <laughs> Four horns! What a, couldn't miss! You know? Well, the matador saw this bull, took his sword and his red cape and threw it on the side. <coughs> Walked over and he charged the bull! <laughs> he charged the bull, which is something that, you know, that, that he outwitted the bull, you know, he threw him off guard. That's half the battle. But the other half is yet to come. Oh. <laughs> well, he rushed at the bull and he grabbed the bull by the horn. That's where the old expression comes from, stiff upper lip. You know what I mean? <laughs> he grabbed the bull by the horn and he started to turn his neck. When he turned, when he was turning the bull's neck, on father, on father, the bull was bending over. When he bending the bull, he was bending, and the bull went down. Very and then the bull started to come up like this again. <laughs> and the fellow was holding him, and he was going on the other side. And the bull was bending him, and he was going back, back, back. And he went down. That was a very and then the bull started to pull him up. <laughs> and he was pushing the bull down over. And he got the bull back over here, and he pushed the bull down. That must have been a very exciting event. And then the bull started to pull him up. <laughs> and he pushed himself, and he got the bull down. That must have been very exciting, Doctor. Six days I sat there. So <laughs> bored. <laughs> oh, I got very hungry. Well, Doctor, uh, you are considered one of the prime exponents of the art of jiu-jitsu. I wonder if you can describe some of the holds in jiu-jitsu to <coughs> the audience. Yes, now say, now look, say, I say you are a fellow with a knife. <coughs> see, you are a fellow with a knife, and I, I and you want to attack me. See, yes. now, I see you there, and you have the knife. Yes. All right, now you put up your hand like you got the knife. Yes. All right, now watch. You just come up a little closer here. Yeah. All right, now, I'm going to go for you and grab me for the knife, all right? Yeah. Here I go. Now, watch it now. Yeah. Here I come. I'm going to come. And I got here. Oh, I got it right there. See, now I got you. I got you here. And oh, then, now, I'm going to bring you down. See, and then, oh, then I grab you by the leg here. And then I got you. And then you were there. And I got you here. See? And then I got you. And I got you here. And then I got you. See, I got you. <laughs> See that? That's amazing, Professor. That's amazing. All strategy. That's all. Well, yeah. And leverage, you know? Well, now, you... take for instance now, <coughs> you see there's a little nerve in the back of your neck here. Yes. If I touch that nerve, you'll be partially paralyzed on this side temporarily. Is that true, Doctor? Sure. See, it's right over here. Right there? <laughs> what happened, Doctor? 
Doctor. Yeah, you see, that's the way it is. <laughs> You can actually break any hold by knowing that. Any hold. Now, you get me in a headlock here. In a headlock, Doctor? Yeah. Go ahead. Like this? That's right. Now, hold on. Am I hurting you, Doctor? No, no, go ahead. Got a good grip now. Yes. You're ready now. Yes, now, sir. hold on. Yes. Get yourself real in, in sense. Get yourself real set. Yes, I've got it, Doctor. You got it now? Yes, Professor. Okay. Yes. Now, you got the hold. Good, huh? Am I hurting you, Professor? No, you're not hurting me at all. Now, you got the hold. You're ready, huh? Now, you're going to get out of this, Professor? That's right. I'm going to get out of it. I see. Well, you, you got the hold, huh? Yes, I've got it, Professor. Am I hurting you? Oh, no. All right. You got the... You got a good hold. I don't want to press too tight, Professor. Oh, don't worry about that. Yes. You, you, got, a, you got the hold good, huh? I have it now. Are you ready? You got it. You got it. You sure you got it? Yeah. Are you ready, Professor? You, you really... You, your hands are tight, huh? Yes, Professor. You got the hold. Yes. Uh, you sure you got it good? I have it, Professor. You ready to get out now? Oh, I'll, I'll about a minute. I'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, what is it? See, I got out of it. 